In this lesson, you will learn how to set the MIDI CV module of your VCV rack so you can have node input from your computer or MIDI keyboard. As soon as you start up the VCV rack, you will see that it loads a basic patch with 8 modules. And totally at the right, you see the Notes module that says to use the QWERTY and the ZXCVB rows of the computer keyboard. So when you play on the QWERTY notes, you will hear the sound of this setup. And when you play the ZXCVB notes, you will hear them an octave lower. This is all explained in the online manual. A link to this section on the online manual is below this video. But for a musician, it's better to use your MIDI keyboard, which I assume you want to do. So you have to make some changes on the first module, which is the MIDI CV module, which you can see at the left. It is initially set to the computer keyboard, and if you click on the top row, you have several options. And here I choose the Windows MIDI option. Now you see the second row has no device, so we click here and choose the MIDI keyboard we have connected. So now I can control the VCV rack with my MIDI keyboard. On the third row of this little window, you can choose which MIDI channel you want to use for this rack, but you can leave it to all channels for now. Now that you have set your input device, you can start connecting, and as you can see, there are cables connected in the basic setup. The first connection is the fault per octave connection, which sends out a pitch signal according to which notes you play. It will send out the pitch voltage of the last played note. So this is actually the height or the pitch of the note. You can see it is connected to the next module which is the VCO1, which creates the basic sound. So it tells the oscillator what pitch it should generate. What this VCO does is explained in another video. In a real modular system, lots of things are controlled by voltage. You might know voltage from a battery that gives 1.5 volt or an adapter for your mobile phone that gives 5 or 9 volt. So also here in the virtual version the term voltage is used. The next connection on this module that is used is the gate which generates a virtual 10 volt whenever a key is held. This is most of the time used to start and stop a sound. So when you press a key it sends 10 volt and when you release the key it sends 0 volt. There are some more connections like the velocity out, which sends 0 to 10 volt information according to the velocity of your keyboard. Aftertouch, which some MIDI keyboards have, that is when you have pressed a key and then press it a bit harder, that will trigger the aftertouch. PW stands for pitch wheel and MW stands for modulation wheel, which are the two wheels at the left of your MIDI keyboard. The other connections, clock, re-trigger, start, stop and continue, also can be used to trigger several things. All these connections are explained in the online manual of the VCV rack. If you want to check out the manual for this module, just right click and choose manual at the plugin tab, that will lead you to the page where this module is explained. We also placed several links to this manual below this video. You see all these connections have a black surrounding, so these are only outputs. On other modules you also see white connections, these are inputs. The cable always goes from output to another input. Now one very important feature on the VCV rack is a hidden function that makes your VCV rack play more notes at once, and that's called polyphonic. At default you will only hear one note, even if you play more notes at once on your keyboard. That's called monophonic, one sound. But if you right click on this module and go to the polyphony channels, you can choose up to 16 voice polyphonic, which means you can play and hear more than one note at once. You can play chords with this machine, how great is that? If you choose one of the polyphonic settings, you will see that the connection cables are thicker than in monophonic. There are some extra settings when you use it polyphonic, and these are also explained in the manual. We advise you to save the settings for yourself as soon as you have the MIDI and audio connections working. So you can always come back to this standard setup, because when you select new to create a new patch, the settings of the audio and MIDI are also reset. So save this as default template, and then when you click on new, you will be presented with this adapted set. Well, that's it for the MIDI CV module. 
check out the other video lessons about synthesizer modules and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so we can keep you updated. Thank <laughs> you.